Evening Hackology, and tonight I've managed to get my hands on some um, surplus army equipment. The first thing that I've managed to get my hands on is, are the standard um, American style police issue handcuffs with the um, chain in the middle uh, and dead bolts on that one. I've also managed to get myself some um, UK police style fixed in the middle Hyatt handcuffs and this episode we're going to be discussing the design flaws in both of these sets of handcuffs and uh, the good points and the bad points about both of them. So first of all, I'm going to show you um, a little trick with these handcuffs here and a bobby pin, um, as the Americans call it, or as us Brits call it, a hairpin. You know, this is the bobby pin and basically it's bent, just slightly hooked at the top. I hope you can see that on camera. Let's see that it's some focus. Okay, um, so slightly bent like that, and I like that for um, releasing the dead bolt or the deadlock, and I like this for um, actually releasing the lock itself. Now, uh, the deadlock you might think is a safety mechanism on the handcuffs, but what the deadlock actually is um, or was designed for was to stop people who'd been arrested. Um, tightening the handcuffs up and claiming police brutality. So uh, when a police officer puts you in these cuffs, they should be tightened to an adequate amount and then deadlocked to stop them from going any tighter around the wrists. So uh, let's give you this demonstration first uh, with these ones and then we should move on and look at the British police cuffs. So. Here's the key for the cuffs, which is a standard handcuff key with the little um, bar on the top to deadlock them. And sorry, and number one. Now it doesn't really matter what side the lock is on because if it's like this, with these ones that have the chain in the middle you can twist your hands round either way to get the, the, the pin round um, and you shall see with the British ones as to why they are um, slightly more difficult than these to get out of but not impossible so, in fact. okay so that's the I'll show you that these are deadlocked as well. Okay, so that's the first one. And that one there is the second one. So just bring that into shot. I think that's just, that's the one. And you should just be able to see that little bar pushed down inside the handcuffs, and it means that now. If I squeeze on them, I can't actually close the handcuffs any tighter around my, my hands. That's the same, same goes for this one. So they are both deadlocked. Now, to the picking. Right, okay. So first of all, what I need to do is um, get the deadlock off. So if I, I have got this a good way around. So I can see, show you the lock there. And now I'm going to get the pick into the right kind of the position for me to um, get the uh, deadlock off. Okay, so if you see there, that is the kind of position you want your um, pick to be in and we're just going to turn it a little bit more. Hopefully, yep, that is the deadlock off the cuffs. So, let me show you. So, now we can clip the cuffs one tighter, but I'm not going to do that because they're on pretty 
tight at the moment as it is. So now I'm going to take the other end of the pick, this one, here shaped slightly like a hook, and I'm going to push it into the handcuffs like this. And that's the one off. And then what I do is I do the same on, on this side. So um, basically that's how you um, that's how you get out of a set of handcuffs using a bobby pin. Um, the design flaw um, in these locks is uh, the locks have relatively non-complex keys and a, a very non-complex locking mechanism. And the reason for this is they're, they're used um, to be quick, to put somebody in cuffs um, and to um, restrain them for a short amount of time. They're not, um, they're, you know, a prison cell is what is used to restrain prisoners, <coughs> not handcuffs. So that's the one design flaw with these style of padlocks. And the British ones are exactly the same locking mechanism. But the problem with the British ones, um, from a escape point of view, is that they have this big um, piece of plastic across the front, which makes it very difficult to get the right angle on the um, on the lock and the um, deadbolt to free them. Um, But there is another design flaw. Um, so, say if, the, um, if you've been locked up in these handcuffs and the person who's locked you up using these handcuffs hasn't dead bolted them, uh, basically you can use a shim to uh, push down the side of the handcuffs to release them. So I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to show you uh, the design on the British handcuffs, I can get some light down there, if you see the um, plate, like the ratchet, um, not ratchet, the um, piece that holds the handcuffs in place when they're closed, here, is made out of very thin strips of metal. So, um, on some videos they tell you to use a pin and push a pin down inside the handcuffs to um, release the mechanism but the pin is uh, pretty much useless against this set of handcuffs. I did try some other tools because I wanted to come to you guys and say hey I found this really cool method other than a bobby pin for picking uh, handcuffs but this is the perfect kind of metal strength and rigidity that you need for um, picking handcuffs. Um, so something similar to a bobby pin. Let's show you this. Um, thing with the shims. So I'm not going to double lock these because it will take me at least 15, 20 minutes to pick my way out of them. And I did try the other night and they are incredibly painful on your hands. So whatever you guys do, just avoid being arrested and avoid any situations that you get yourselves into where you are likely to get handcuffed. I'm teaching you this on the basis that you may need it one day to escape from a terrorist organisation or a crazy government bloody system. I'm showing you. I'm showing you this, um, just in case you ever need to use it to save your life and get yourself out of this situation. Um, and also, just the knowledge that uh, just because something's locked up and has a key on it doesn't always mean it's secure. And all every lock has a design flaw because it has a key, and they all have mechanisms to being opened. So I'm just going to show you again with the shim. If the handcuffs haven't been deadlocked, what you can do is get the shim, go 
Yeah, my own shot there. Go on to the shim and push it in, in between the handcuff. So. Okay, so there we go. And my hand is free to come out from the handcuff. If I just leave the shim in there, and you can see I've just pushed it down the side of the handcuffs. Um, and the shim is actually made from a small junior hacksaw blade. I'll just give you a close up on it. And basically, it's a junior hacksaw blade that's been ground down. And um, so it's a homemade shim. Um, so yeah, that's been how to get out of a set of handcuffs. You've been watching Hackology. I hope you've had fun and I hope you found this video useful, informative and educational. Um, we'll be back really soon. Have fun hacking as always. Peace. Okay, so just before we go, um, The American handcuffs are pretty much useless. Uh, the, the bolts in them aren't very well made and the springs aren't particularly tight in them. I did have a go at the technique of knocking the dead bolts out. So basically when they were deadlocked, trying to tap the handcuffs to, um, to move the dead bolts out, but that didn't work successfully. Um, and I could see if the handcuffs were actually on your arms when you were doing that, it would cause a lot of pain or damage. Um, I mentioned the pin earlier, using the pin with handcuffs won't work, but it will work with plastic zip ties. So remember that one. And um, yeah, if the police, the British police handcuffs are put on correctly, which is one on either arm facing either way behind you, um, I think you're going to have a pretty difficult job on picking them or uh, at least um, trying to pick them or escape. Um, I think I managed it in about 15 minutes with the cuffs in front of me and the main problem is just getting the one cuff off because when you've got the one cuff off uh, it doesn't really matter about the handcuffs if you're trying to escape somewhere. Um, if you're not trying to escape anywhere then um, <laughs> you've got plenty of time just to sit there and get the other hand handcuff off but uh, yeah it's it, it only relies on you getting through the one lock really to to be free from these um so yeah the british one's pretty well made um american ones mm, yeah you need to start buying from the british <laughs> um, you've been watching hackology i really hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'll be back really soon peace Okay, Hackology, um, because uh, the handcuffs were out of shot in the last one, I'm just going to show you again and try and keep them completely in shot this time. So there is the deadbolt, and as you can see, the handcuffs won't move. If I squeeze them, they won't go around. So what I'm going to do is put the pick in like this and twist it around to that position, and then continue around and give it a good twist and you can see the pin move down inside the handcuffs so once you've done that take the pin out there we go dead bolt is now out and then take the uh, pick and place the pick inside the handcuff like this release the latch Hopefully, there we go. First time, um, you're into the handcuff. You're, you're out of the handcuffs. Um, peace. Have fun hacking. We'll be back really soon.